giving thanks, give it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For these are chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread out through the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Robert and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are foreign and safe in the hope of resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we marry to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in time, but only say so. Our communion hymn is number 46, Beyond the Moon and Stars, number 46.
our communion meditation will be projected on the screens. Before the final blessing and final prayer, today we are going to bless Baby Nelly, Baby Jesus, and I'm inviting all the kids to come forward, those children who have their Baby Jesus to come forward for a special blessing. And before, before we bless these Baby Nellies, one thing that I want to say that uh, it has come to our notice that uh, there are people who do a very good job. They take Holy Communion to the homebound. They take Holy Communion to the sick. And this is a very, very, very important ministry. And we very much appreciate that ministry that you carry out. But uh, as you take Holy Communion to those who are homebound and those who are sick, there are some few things that uh, we need to note. And the first thing is that uh, you can't leave Jesus in the car. Amen? So when you get communion to take to the sick person or to the homebound, you go straight and take that communion to that particular person that you are taking. You don't go to, to a restaurant to eat, or you go to do some other things, and you leave Jesus Christ in the car. You can't do that. If you take communion, you are taking Jesus to the person that you are bound to take. Take communion here from the church, and go straight and give that communion to that particular person. The second thing is that if you are taking to three, or if you take, if you somebody that you take communion every day, you can take communion and keep it at home, one for today, one for tomorrow, one for the other day. There is nowhere you can store Jesus in your house. You cannot store Jesus in the tabernacle, in a, in your fridge, or in your box. 
So if you have a routine of taking communion to somebody every day, we'll come forward, come here every day in the church, we'll give you communion to take to that particular person. So don't keep Jesus Christ in the fridge or anywhere else in your house. And if you take out communion to the people and it remains, the best thing is to bring it back here in the church or you consume it. You can't keep communion at home. Sorry for being, uh, for being very orthodox, but it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's supposed to be like that. There is no any other way. There is no any other way. You like me, you hate me. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that, that, that's the directive. Those are the directions. There are more directions that will be coming up. And I want you to share with everybody else. Even if somebody, if you are giving Holy Communion and you become suspicious, please let us know. Yeah, because we cannot keep communion at home. We can only keep Jesus Christ in the tabernacle. Is that okay? Amen. Be happy because I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> and uh, my dear children, God our Father, you so loved humankind that you sent your only son Jesus Christ to be born of the Virgin Mary to save us and lead us back to you. We pray that with your blessing, these images of Jesus who is about to come among us may be a sign of your presence and love in our homes. God Father, give us your blessing to us too, to our parents, and to our families, and to our friends. Open our hearts so that we may be able to receive Jesus in joy, always do what he asks, and see him in all those that need your love and care. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved son, who comes to give us and to give the whole world peace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Hold them. <laughs> Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. God. Our closing hymn is number 68, Lift Up Your Heads, Ye Mighty Gates. Number 68.